Hello everyone. Welcome to Ace Preparation League. In this session, we are going to discuss about the heat transfer through a plane wall with internal heat generation. So this concept is from the conduction part of heat transfer. So let us go in detail about this particular concept. So here, the thing what we are going to consider is this is a plane wall and it is a one dimensional condition. And here, our assumption is we consider steady state and there is internal heat generation. And at the same time, we are considering that both sides of the wall are at same temperature. So this is the temperature axis and this is the x axis. And the thickness of the wall here, we are considering it to be L. The thickness is taken as L here. Now, both sides of the wall are at same temperature and there is internal heat generation in this wall. Let us take the internal heat generation as Q and the thermal conductivity is K for this particular wall. Now, we need to see how will be the temperature distribution in this particular wall. For that, we need to consider the general heat conduction equation first. So, the general heat conduction equation in Cartesian coordinate system is d square t by dx square plus d square t by dy square plus d square t by dz square plus qg by k equal to 1 by alpha into dt by data. So, here we have considered steady state. So that means this dt by d tau term will become zero. And at the same time, we have considered one dimensional condition. So we need to consider only the x component. So we don't consider y and z directions. And there is internal heat generation. So this qg will be there. Now, this equation reduces to d square t by dx square plus qg by k equal to 0. Now, in order to know how will be the temperature distribution within this thickness, we need to integrate this equation twice. On integration of this particular expression, we get dt by dx is equal to minus qg by k into x plus a constant of integration c1. So, let us consider this as equation 1 now. Now, again integrating this equation, again integrating we get t is equal to minus qg by k into x square by 2 plus c1 x plus c2. So, this is equation 2. From this equation, we can easily say that the temperature distribution in this particular case is parabolic. So, temperature distribution is parabolic. Now, we need to determine this C1 and C2 values. For that, let us use the boundary conditions. What are the boundary conditions here? At x is equal to 0, the temperature T is T only. So, here at this side, the temperature is T. So, if I substitute it here, T is equal to minus qg by k into 0 square by 2 plus c1 into 0 plus c2. So from this, we have got c2 is equal to simply, so let us take this as equation 3. c2 we got t. Now let us use the other boundary condition so that we will get c1 value also. So, at x is equal to L, temperature is T. 
So from this, we can write T is equal to minus QG by K into L square by 2 plus C1 into L plus C2. Instead of C2, we need to put T. Here, this T and this T will get cancelled. We get C1 into L is equal to QG by K into L square by 2. From this, simply C1 is equal to QG by 2K into L. This is equation 4. So, we got C1, C2 values. Now, here we need to determine where we are going to get the maximum temperature in this particular case. So, from the mathematics principles of maxima and minima, as we are going to know about the temperature or location of temperature at which we are going to get maximum temperature, then we need to do dt by dx is equal to 0. But if you observe the expression of dt by dx, the equation 1 here, dt by dx is equal to minus qg by k into x plus c1 here. So, we need to put dt by dx is equal to 0 here because we wanted to know within this thickness where we are going to get the maximum temperature. Right? So, substituting that, to get location of maximum temperature put dt by dx is equal to 0 in equation 1. So, that implies 0 is equal to minus qg by k into x plus c1. What is c1? qg by 2k into l. So, qg by 2k into l. Now, from this, what we can write here? qg by k into x is equal to qg by 2k into l. So, qg, qg gets cancelled, k, k gets cancelled. So, from this, we can easily get that x is equal to l by 2. So, that means the location of maximum temperature is at the center of this plane wall. So, let us go back to the diagram and draw it. So, as the temperature distribution is parabolic, we need to draw the diagram like this and at this particular point, at the center, at the center here, we are going to get the maximum temperature T max. So, therefore, we can write here x is equal to L by 2 where we are going to get the maximum temperature. Now, we need to determine what is this maximum temperature with respect to the temperature available at the plane wall surface. So, here we got x is equal to L by 2. Now, if we substitute this x is equal to L by 2 in equation 2, in equation 2, we are going to get T max here. x is equal to L by 2, we have to substitute here so that we will get T max. So, let us substitute that. T max is equal to minus QG by K into, here we have got x square by 2. So, that means x is equal to L by 2, L by 2 whole square by 2 plus 
C1 into X. What is C1 value that we have got here? QG by 2K into L. So, QG by 2K into L multiplied by X. X is equal to L by 2 here. Plus C2. C2 is nothing but temperature T. So, simply what we have used here x is equal to L by 2, we have substituted in the expression of temperature such that we are going to get T max. So, this will be Qg by 8k into L square plus Qg by 4k into L square plus T. So, simply we can get this one like this qg by 8k into l square plus t this is equal to the maximum temperature so t max we have got like this see sometimes in the gate examination question will be asked based on this t max he will be asking you to determine T max temperature or sometimes he will ask you to determine this difference T max minus T. So, this will be equal to QG by 8K into L square. So, this is the equation. Try to remember these two expressions dear students. These are very very important. And you need to remember the temperature distribution, how it will be in different cases. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn some interesting facts and concepts, please download ACE online app. The link will be available in the description box below.